All right, we're gonna talk about uh, Space Crusade here. This is a um, miniature game by Protos Games, uh, which is a rehash of the old Games Workshop's version of Space Crusade, only they've replaced the Space Marines with uh, sexy uh, sisters. And, um, and instead of Chaos Marines, they're crazy uh, Rokitas, which are these like demonette type of characters. Anyways, um, I bought a bunch of these just to kind of fill out my Death Watch army. Um, I wanted to do some Sisters of Battle. I'm sure the new Games Workshop Sisters of Battle are going to be awesome. However, I do like the old kind of heavy metal kind of um, like bikini clad armored warriors, you know, kind of kind of look. I think that's um, got an old nostalgic 80s appeal. So these are the um, the bikers that I painted up, um, and I got myself another set of Amazon bikers. Um, they're pretty awesome, and I've used these along with my Games Workshop um, bikers, and they they look great on the battlefield, especially when you paint them all up together. Lots of detail. Even have this this little sculpted smoke kind of thing. So, anyways, that's uh, those are the bikers. Now, um, uh, just to kind of compare, here's a uh, Death Watch biker from Games Workshop. Now, the ladies are going to be a little bit smaller, but they're still right, right about the right scale. They match up pretty well. So, yeah, pretty fun. Um, anyways, now there's two different versions of the Amazons. There's these uh, these armored versions where they're wearing plenty of clothing. Then you have your kind of pen-up versions where you've got massive undercleavage, you know, to each their own. But, hey, you know, if you wanted that pin-up look, there you go. You have the options to do either. So, you know, it's I think that's fair. You know, you've got your, your art, your, um, your gamers that want to have, like, some sexy girls on the battlefield, and then there's ones that want something a little bit more realistic, like these girls. Um, I like the shoulder pads. You have different options. Um, you have, you could do them with or without the shoulder pads. Now here's the, um, the quote unquote sexy versions. Let's focus in there. There we go. So, you know, definitely exaggerated hips and breast area. And butts, of course. But, you know, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. Here's some more girls here. Let's focus, focus, focus. There we go. And so those sculpts, are, they're different than the ones um, in armor. Um, I'm trying to I kind of compare the girls here. Let's see. So this one, her leg is up. You know, but the the head's tilted differently. You know, so if you wanted to mix and match these, you could, and they're not gonna look identical. You know, because heads are different, and they gave these little loincloths, and instead these girls are all fully armored. So it still has kind of that gothic, kind of medieval look. And then, of course, you have all the weapons and shoulder pads and arms. And you have the option. Now, these guys already have um, these shoulder pads right here. Come on. Come on. Focus. There we go. But you could cap them off using one of these. There it is. So they have that little Florida Lee kind of thing going on. Now here's the Artemis. Um, this is a beautiful kit. I'm gonna use when I do Games Workshop games. I'm gonna use this as my Penita engine. I think it's way classier looking than the Games Workshop version. And I magnetized the arms of this so that I could uh, uh, swap out weapon options. And then I added um, these two ribbons here for my Games Workshop kit. Kind of add a little bit to it. Everything else here is Protos. 
So there's your penitent engine or Artemis. And this looks great on the battlefield, especially next to a Dreadnought. Like it's a little bit bigger. But you got your your girl hanging from it. I love the legs on the Artemis. I think it's a little bit more dynamic than what a clunky dreadnought looks like. So yeah, all in all, these are resin miniatures. I think they're fantastically sculpted. I think they've got a lot of potential for use in not only the the, um, the Space Crusade board game, but also for other tabletop games as well. You know. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if, especially if you're kind of curious about these kind of models. Um, again, they're fantastic scale, and um, you know, if you're an Aliens vs Predator player. Um, they're the same scale as the AVP minis. So, um, yeah, I, I recommend it. So check it out. They are pretty awesome.